Welcome back. You're watching DXB today. That's been a very busy day at COP28 as always. And Dot is there, keeping us on our toes, keeping us very well informed. Let's find out who she managed to catch up with. So we are down here at COP28 in Expo City and I am joined by the executive team of a local powerhouse that you may not know, but you should know. So Dr. Yusuf, Mr. Khalid, thank you very much for joining us on DXB today. Can you tell us a little bit more about Tabreed? Thank you for having us. So Tabreed, we are the biggest international district cooling company in basically providing district cooling services to a number of landmarks and iconic buildings. We've been established in 1998, so we have more than 25 years of experience. We provide efficient, uh, sustainable, environment-friendly cooling uh, services to the community. And we are here because we consider ourselves as one of the pillars, uh, working hand-to-hand -to, -hand to the initiatives and objectives of COP28. Incredible. And Mr. Khalid, as the chief executive, tell us to our viewers who may not know how they should know about Tabreed and why it's so special. Well, I think the best one relevancy is that Tabreed is the company that cools Burj Khalifa in the downtown area. Oh, wow. And the two lines of RTA. But the fact is that the district cooling and COP28 comes from the fact that this is a much more efficient form of cooling using district cooling as opposed to regular cooling. The fact that it's a 50% more energy efficient, so that means less power consumption, that means less CO2s. Uh, of course, district cooling is not about just a utility which is efficient, but it's actually pushing the envelope of technology as well, uh, adopting new technologies. The latest, which we are showcasing in this COP28 and we're super proud of, is the fact that we have started the first regional, in the region, uh, geothermal plant. It's in Mazdar City, and the fact is that you're using germ, uh, geothermal, which is the heat in the ground, 7,000 feet down. Uh, this is in cooperation with Adnoc and Mazdar to be the engine to drive cooling. So literally using hot water or hot geothermal energy to provide cooling. And this is uh, something that we are super proud of. That's something we like to integrate in our ongoing and uh, future operations as well as we expand uh, our business. Well, firstly, Mabruk on the achievement. And how has it been received so far here at COP28 and why COP28 to announce it? Well, uh, <laughs> COP28, uh, this is about climate. So it's so the climate is all revolve, revolving around uh, curbing down on the either future CO2 and capturing the current CO2 we have, the 1.2.5 degrees and 2 degrees uh, temperature. This is not going to be done by one it's going to be, it's a collective effort and we're part or one cog in this big gear when it comes to to have a commitment in order to, uh, to uh, reduce uh, the emissions of CO2. As you can see, a lot is happening at COP28, but right now we have something for Ash. Can you please tell us about DXB in 60? Sure, Nina, we've had so much fun with you on the show and we want to get you know a little bit better. So we have a segment on the show which is called DXB 60, where in 60 seconds we'll ask you as many questions as possible and you need to answer them as quickly as possible. Ready? Fantastic, I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready, I'm always ready. Okay, so your time, three, Two, one, let's go. If you weren't in the media industry, what kind of work would you be doing? I would be an interior designer, architect. Ooh, that makes two of us. Or a one spy. Thi one, <laughs> one thing you cannot live without. Oh, my family. Your motto in life and work. Always be respectful to others. Your hidden gem in Dubai. Oh, Little Miss India in Fairmont. Uh, if you could choose one superpower, what would it be? Oh, <laughs> I would want to listen in on people. <laughs> okay, super. I, I would. Okay, pass. I don't okay, know. It's so right. many. No worries. A book you're reading at the moment? Uh, to be honest, I'm not reading a book at this moment. Okay. Top series you've watched this summer? This summer, what did I watch? Uh, White Color. Top podcast recommendations? I'm not a podcaster. I'm sorry. Most used app on your phone? Okay. Face up. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> your time is up. Your last question. Mine is face tuned, by the way. Anyway, <laughs> why Dubai? Dubai, what can I say? It is by far the best nation in the world, the cleanest, the safest. We have all the opportunities that nowhere else in the world would provide. My personal growth for 18 years, I would never be given anywhere else that Dubai has. So Dubai respects its people, 
its nation and the will. And it's the country of the future. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Nina. It was so good to get to know you within 60 seconds. It was a pleasure having you. It was my pleasure to be with all of you. Thank you are you amazing. Thank you so much for joining us. This Thank you, guys. But after the break, Tom catches up with Her Excellency, Dr. Nawal Hosseini, to discuss climate change and her new initiative, Beyond Food. Plus, we've got an instrumentalist here in the studio, so stay tuned. <laughs> 